Hello, Capricorn, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, guys, so I'm warning you ahead of time that the sun is setting, so let's see what happens with this lighting, but I was just laughing because I feel like any time I do the Capricorn reading, there is some sort of changes in weather, like it'll just start raining, but it'll be like a beautiful, peaceful rain, or the sun is setting, or maybe it's rising. I'm just kidding. I never wake up that early for readings, but let's see what's going on with you guys. So I am a little late on these readings, so just know that you're going to get your love readings and mid-month readings, and it's going to seem like you're just getting back-to-back -back readings. So I'm about to bombard you guys with stuff. So for those of you liking and subscribing, I love you, and thank you so much for the support. But let's see what is going on for the sign of Capricorn, okay? So this will be a general reading, guys. Whatever comes out, comes out. And this will be for sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? So let's see what's up with my Cappies. What is going on for the lovely sign of Capricorn? Past, present, and future. Okay. One more shuffle that should be good for those of you interested in this deck um, once you see it it is called the healing tarot okay I actually ended up buying it for a friend and I thought the imagery was so beautiful so I'm like girl I'm about to give myself one too so let's see what's going on guys okay Capricorn so the energy that we have here is a king of wands in the reverse, okay? So this could mean a few things. Um, you guys could just, uh, you could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, who's not necessarily being too honest right now, who could be juggling people if it comes to love. But just know anyone can take on the energy of any of these characters here, okay? We could be the Queen of Swords one day, the Queen of Cups one day, uh, the King of Wands one day, so... All of this can be, um, you know, taken on by any person. But there could be a situation off bat where someone's lying, someone's, you know, being deceitful. If this is within work, whether it's you guys or someone that you're dealing with, there could be someone that is abusive of their authority, okay? Behind that, we have the Hierophant and the Two of Cups in the reverse. So I see something here that may be dropped this month, but the fact that you're dropping it with the Hierophant there, the universe has your back. The universe is supporting you. Um, anytime the uh, the higher font pops out for me, it's confirmation that whether I'm going through something difficult or you know something that feels very good, that the universe approves, that the universe has my back, that things are uh, going the way that they're supposed to. Okay, so there's a bigger picture behind what you may be leaving behind, but let's see what's up, guys. Okay, let's see how this transpires. The first card that you guys have for the past is the pool card. Okay, so with the pool card, there's a new start and a new beginning that you're excited about, that you're looking about getting into. You just haven't taken that leap just yet. All right, so let's see why this pool card is here. We have the King of Pentacles. So you guys are feeling very good, very strong. Um, if this is within finance, you guys are feeling very strong financially. Uh, but this is you guys feeling very, very stable and feeling it's like you're at your highest level here. Okay, you're functioning at your highest levels with this new start that you're thinking about going towards. And you have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So you're in a place where there's a new start available to you, something new that you want to get into. You don't want problems. You don't want conflict. You just want to do this on a big scale, okay? The next card that you have is a Page of Cups in the reverse. So maybe there's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you stop talking to, or maybe they stop talking to you. But usually when this card comes out, um, if it's not someone that you stop talking to, it could be someone that you are, you know, affiliated with somehow. But if they're making promises or if they're saying something really sweet to you or if they're really just trying to get under your skin but in a good way, um, it's just not someone that you can rely on their word. It's someone who talks a great talk, but when it comes to them, um, you know, having to show you what they said or having to prove that what they said is something that they're going to do, they can't deliver. All right, so let's see what's going on with this page of cups in reverse. You have the three of swords in the reverse. So there could be something that doesn't work out, you know, some someone that you stop talking to or an idea that you stop working on. And there's this sense of pain that you feel, but you're suppressing it, okay? 
So you're showing, you know, your strong face here with the King of Pentacles, but deep down inside, there's something that's bothering you. There's something that's hurting you in the past. All right, and you have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So a huge loss that you're feeling for some of you could have been a monetary loss. Uh, for others of you, this could have just been something that made you feel like you lost a lot of abundance within yourself, okay? The last card that we have for the past is the Four of Swords in the reverse. So there is something at this point that you've really put a lot of thought into. You've been kind of uh, whirling around with it in your mind and you decide how to move forward and what you need to do moving forward and you actually make that move forward. So you're coming out of a time where you took a break, you took a step back to see how you wanted to move and now you're making moves. So let's see what kind of moves you were making. We have the hanged man in the reverse. Okay, so there's something in your life, you know, you're, you're moving forward, but there's something in your life that you guys are forcing at this point. With the hanged man, you know, you guys are having it in the reverse. When it's in its regular position here, this is about allowing. This is about going with the flow. This is about not swimming against the current. When it's in the reverse, there's something that you're either realizing that was being forced and you're moving on from it, or you're moving on in a way where you're forcing something that may not be resonating with what your soul truly wants or needs. Okay, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So in this case, I just feel like you guys know that there was something that may have been forced, whether you were forcing it or someone was trying to force it on you. And you guys just let it go. You guys just don't see this uh, being something that is going to be attached to longevity, okay? And you have the five of wands. So something that just makes you feel very tense, okay? There could be drama attached to this, gossip, rumors, um, arguing, bickering, pettiness, competition, okay? In your present moment, we have the ace of wands in the reverse. So this really could have been something that at one point um, you were passionate about, but something that you know you have to let go of. And let's see if this card wanted to pop out. You have the two of pentacles in the reverse. So you're really trying to find balance. You're really trying to make a choice um, and go in a solid direction. So you end up dropping something in order to do that. And we have the ten of swords. Okay. So definitely a difficult ending that happened here for some of you. Um, with the ten of swords, this is about betrayal. This is a harsh ending. But think of it as the climax of your pain, okay? So th if you're in a place right now where you feel like you hit rock bottom or you feel like this really just knocked the wind out of you, it can't get worse, okay? So let's look at it in a positive light where this is the worst that could have happened, so the only way is up now, okay? And you guys realize that because the next card that you have is the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, you're moving forward slowly, yes, but you're moving forward methodically. You're moving forward in a way that... Um, you, you're really thinking about every step before you take it so that you can avoid, um, you know, further issues with this. We have the nine of wands in the reverse. So you give up on something that you put a lot of, you know, blood, sweat, and tears into. You let it go and you move forward. Okay. And with the knight of swords, for some of you, this could have been um, a Libra Aquarius or Gemini that you're dealing with. But for a lot of you, I feel like now is the time for you to focus and now it's the time for you to cut out any shit that was just not working for you, okay? So you guys really take a strong stance. Was it difficult with the Two of Swords? Absolutely. Was it a hard decision for you to make? Most likely. But you move on from it because you know you could probably do better without this in your life. The last card that we have here for the present moment is the Page of Wands in the reverse. So again, this could be maybe a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that stops talking to you or you stop talking to them. Um, something that you were talking about that you were passionate about but you're not going to move forward with. Um, this could be gossip as well, you know, rumors and gossip going around. All right, and we have the Four of Swords. I mean, the Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, in the reverse. So with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, you guys are extremely guarded towards this. You know that it's something that wasn't going to lead you to a good direction, something that was probably being forced, something that wasn't going to help you grow, you let it go because you know that it was debilitating. You know that it was something that you would have had to force in a bad way, okay? Knight of Wands in the reverse. So for those of you that this is resonating in terms of love, this person is just unreliable. This person is probably seeing other people. Or if this is you guys taking on this energy, then you're telling yourself, look, I don't want to go this route. I know that I'm not, you know, 100% into this person, so let me drop this before it gets messy, okay? Now, moving forward, the first card that you guys have is the Ace of Swords. 
So the Ace of Swords is always going to come out after a time of difficulty, after a time of um, adversity, where, yes, you're having a new start, but there is bullshit from your past that you had to cut out. So you guys are in a place that you're cutting out something that didn't work for you, you're starting new, um, and this time you just don't want any sort of conflict here. Okay, so you guys are really standing your ground and uh, taking on that sword energy to make sure that you don't get deterred again, not by the same person or by the same situation anyways. And we have the death card in the verse. So you're cutting something out, you're having a new start, but you're still emotionally invested in the past. Okay, and that's okay because with Capricorns, um, you guys love really hard. So it's just not a flip of the switch that you can just turn on and off. Okay, but the most important thing is that you're doing what's going to be right for you regardless of what your heart is saying. Right now, you have to think with this. All right, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in the verse. So you just feel like, you know, this was a stroke of bad luck. You feel like um, it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. You're still invested in it, but you know it's not good for you. Okay, again, with the Two of Swords at the bottom, it's something that you're just, uh, it's tough for you. You feel a bit lost because of it. Okay. But sometimes, guys, being lost is the best way to find our path. Sometimes we would never find a true path if we didn't get lost. So many things, beautiful things, come into our life when we take detours. Okay. So don't look at this as a bad thing. The reason why my life got to be where it's at right now is because of all the wrong turns I took. So I am so thankful to those people that try to fuck me over. But haha, -ha, joke's on you. Sorry, guys. Here we go. So we have the seven of cups in the reverse. So yeah, you feel lost. Okay, there's a sense of this wasn't a good path for me. But you're seeing things with clarity now. You're seeing everything for what it was. Everything is out on this table. There's no more magicians. There's no more illusions. There's no more, you know, smoke in the air that's just clouding your vision. You're seeing it for what it is. Okay. And then you have the seven of wands in the reverse. So with the seven of wands in the reverse here, um, it just, it was bringing too much adversity. You know, it was something that you had to drop. Okay. And by you dropping this with the tower card in the reverse, you're avoiding what could have been a very catastrophic situation. Um, you're avoiding something that could have been very, very difficult for you. Okay. You have the four of cups here as your last card for the future. So if there's any offers that come in for you that, um, you know, someone from the past that you had to drop or a situation that you had to drop, if they're making an offer, this is you guys not accepting it. Okay. Or this is you guys not accepting anything because you don't think it's worth moving on towards. But with the tower card in the reverse again, with you not accepting this or someone not accepting something from you, you're actually avoiding a bullet. Okay. So the universe is definitely protecting you guys right now. Okay. So if, uh, there's anything that's not working out for you, you know, that's God, that's source. That's the universe saying, look, I know that you wanted this, but honey, I have something much bigger for you. Okay. And we have the five of cups in the reverse. So you're going to avoid uh, further catastrophe with whatever this was. And you will get over the pain, okay? You start to get over things. You start to feel stronger. You start to feel better. And because you let it go, new things come in, all right? So this is really, really beautiful, guys. I love it, all right? So all it took was a little bit of chaos with the chariot in the verse in order for this to happen. But this is where it brings you to, all right? So it's kind of like that rainbow after the storm. The storm might have been bad. You might have gotten sick. You might have gotten, you know, really messed up. The sounds could have been scary. You could have gone through a lot of things you didn't want to go through. But it's all worth it when you see that rainbow at the end, you know? All right, guys. So let's see what is going on in terms of advice. All right. So this is the Earth Magical, uh, Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen B. Farmer. All right. So what is going on here? All right. So let's see what pops out. For my Capricorns. All right, guys. We have Epperless Waterfall. Now, it did turn up in the reverse. When I see this card, I always like to link these cards to um, a card in the tarot deck. So I'm going to link this card to the hanged man in the reverse, okay, because that popped up in your reading, I believe. So there was something in your life, and, you know, it showed a lot in the spread that you guys were forcing, that you were putting way too much effort in. There's going to be times where, yes, we have to put extra effort, we have to pick up the slack, 
you know, that other people may be um, leaving there. But this is not the time for a Capricorn. Right now, what you guys need to do is go towards things in life that are just going to make sense for you, that are just going to resonate with your soul and with your deepest desires and things that you truly want. Okay, this, uh, you guys are going into a new start. You guys are going into something where you're finally going to feel like you could breathe after some hard times that you may have gone through. So with this reading, it's telling you if it feels forced at this time, it's not for you. Okay, right now, the path that you guys are going to go on is just going to make sense. It's just going to make, you know, it's just going to work for you. It's just going to be something that you're like, okay, I got this. I know what I need to do. So opposed to swimming against the current, you know, I want you to guys to get that little, I want you guys to get that float and just ride, ride the wave, ride that lazy river. Because that is what, you know, uh, your life is going to entail right now. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, what in my life am I forcing right now? What would not be in my life if I wasn't completely on it all the time or if I wasn't begging this person or this situation to do certain things for me? Would they still be there? And if the answer is no, they most likely wouldn't be there, then it's time to really get that backbone and say, okay, well, then be gone. I'll hold the door for you. All right. So if there's a person that does not want to be in your life, there's a person that you're fighting with, if there's someone that's just adding a lot of shit to your life, let them go. All right. Because this is going to be the situation where it's going to do a lot more damage if you hold on. Okay. And that's a lesson that I really, really, really wish that I learned. Um, you know, sooner in life, I eventually got it by going through something crazy. But when we stay in situations that are painful, we're thinking about our instant gratification. Okay, and we're in a generation where that's what it is. You know, if you want to order something, it's at your house the next day. Um, if you want to go on a date tonight, you go on an app and you swipe, swipe, swipe and you get yourself a date. So everything in this life comes very, very quickly. Okay. So most of the time we're thinking about, okay, what can I do to feel better right now? So maybe you reach out to that person that you know is bad for you, or maybe you go to that place that you know nothing good is going to come from because it feels good in the moment. But the truth is that after a while you feel like complete shit. You divert so much from the path that you were supposed to be on. So what you're truly doing is you're fucking over your future self. Okay, excuse my French. I'm trying not to curse as much, guys. But you're really just screwing yourself over. And you really have to think about how significant and how how real that is. That if I don't let this go, the future me in five years is going to be a wreck. She or he is going to be, de uh, you know, devastated. She or he is um, not going to be in a good place financially. She or he will not have realized you know, their dreams yet. So is whatever you're going through right now, whether it's a person, whether it's a job, a boss, a friend, whoever it is, I don't care. Are they worth you not getting what you want in life? Nobody's worth that. Okay. Um, and it gets to a point where we, we kind of fall into what society thinks that we should do. And that's what we follow. Okay. I know that a lot of us, we've had dreams and we've had things that we want to do, but our boyfriend or our girlfriend is against it, or our parents would be upset with us. But you got to realize that once you get to a certain point, it's just you. The, the sole purpose for your parents, you know, God bless your parents is to raise you, to provide a home. And when you're able to get up and walk and, you know, fend for yourself, now it's time for you to do what you want to do. So what you guys need right now is to be selfish. To be completely honest, that's what you need to do. Stop thinking about how other people are going to take things. Stop thinking about how you may be viewed if you don't do this for this person. What are you going to do for yourself to get what you want? Okay? Sometimes we need a little bit of adversity. You know, if you want to be successful, uh, you know, successful in what it is that you do, and success for every single person is different. But whatever is success in your mind, there's going to be people that talk shit. There's going to be people that don't agree. So get comfortable with that. Get comfortable with criticism and know that. And I feel like I've said this to you guys before. If you're not getting criticized, if people aren't giving you shit, you're not doing enough in life. You're not, you know, you're not reaching your full potential. 
when people start talking a lot of shit and, you know, this is you following a dream and doing something moral. You know, if you're out there killing people, stuff like that, then don't listen to anything I'm saying right now. This is not for you. But for those of you that you want to do something honest, something that makes you happy, something that you don't see anything wrong in and you see it as something moral, you have to go for it. OK, you have to do that. All right. So it's just it's. Once we realize that we have to release certain things and once we realize that criticism is going to come no matter what, that's when you become free. OK, but if again, guys, if you're not getting criticized, if people aren't talking shit, if people aren't on your ass about it, you're not doing enough. You need to do more. OK, stop being so complacent with life. Stop, you know, living in this little circle. If you want to expand, if you want to travel, if you want to do something big, then do it. There is no difference between a millionaire and somebody that lives in the projects. There's absolutely no difference. It's just the millionaire didn't give up. The millionaire didn't give a fuck what you had to say because they knew that they were paying their own bills and they had to do what they had to do. OK, so once you get that mindset, anything that you want in life, whether it's to win a boxing match or whether it's to make that million or whether it's to write that book or, you know, publish those poems, whatever the hell it is that you want to do, do it. Stop making people get in the way of your dreams. At this point, I don't listen to anybody. You know how pissed off my parents are with me right now? They think that what I'm doing is so taboo, but I love it and I help people all the time. And so much good has come from it. So it's just something that this is my journey. This is my story. OK, and nobody else but me is going to hold the pen to write my story. It's mine. All right. So once you guys realize that, you're going to have so much good things coming in for you. All right. So this is really, really beautiful. I love this reading. And I think that it's definitely a lot to think about. Um, for those of you, um, just keep in mind, I'm going to be coming out with your love readings and your mid-month readings very soon. But for those of you that do need a reading from me, I do have a new website. It's called HighVibrationsWithLiz.com. It will be below in the description. And I do have um, an app called Instant Go, which I'm sure you guys heard me talk about. But it's only for iPhone users now, Android users. I'm sorry, you know, nothing personal. I don't create the app, so I know a lot of people get on me for that. But again, I didn't create it. But um, yeah, so if you have iPhone, you can call or text me on that app. If you text me a question, I will respond same day, excluding Sundays, because I take that as a personal day so that I stay sane. And if you call me and I do not respond, I will let you know the moment I'm available. So there's no need to call 50 times. You know, I'll alert you when I'm good. And if you're free, then you just give me a call. OK. And um, I'm just letting every sign know this because it's gotten to the point where I have a really good system that works for me. And to be honest with you guys, the volume of readings that I get, it should be about a three to four month wait. OK, I get readings out anywhere from a week to two weeks, just depending on what's going on in my life at that time. So when you guys get a reading from me, um, you know, if it's not an emergency reading and that's why I put emergency readings out. If there's something that's really, really um, heavy and pressing, please get the emergency reading. You'll get it within 24 hours, excluding Sundays. But um, once you guys get a reading, what I ask for you to do once you get the confirmation email is just release. Just be still. And let me do my work because I will get it to you and, you know, it'll come at the right time that you need to hear it. OK, so, you know, I just I want to avoid getting a lot of emails saying, hey, it's been seven days. You know, where am I on the list? Um, you know, how much longer am I going to have to wait? Because it keeps me from working. It keeps me from being focused and it actually takes me much longer to get these readings out. So that is the energy that I want. That is the sort of clients that I want to deal with where you guys just you get the reading and you release. And you know that Lisette got you and she's going to give you an amazing reading and that you're going to get it in your inbox and I will not fail you. OK, so you guys are amazing. I love you so much. I hope that you're having an incredible month and I will be back very, very shortly with your love readings. Take care, Capricorn.